All right, this is my next little project for the van. It is going to be a solar water heater and uh, a place for my shower to come from. This is going to hold water. I'm going to paint it black so that the sun will heat it up. And I'm also getting a 12 volt heater element off of Amazon. I don't have it yet, but when I do get it, I'm going to have to find a good place for it. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put it. Maybe in the end of this. I'll just have to be able to uh, um, seal it up well. But anyway, okay, this is what I have. I'm not a plumber, so <laughs> the names of these pieces may be completely wrong. I know this is a tire valve. That is going to go in the end of this cap, okay, so that I can pressurize the system. I'll be able to take this cap out, fill it up through here, and the 90, of course, is going to be pointing up. So that way, you know, I'll fill up the pipe. And then on this end, I've got a 45 and a, another cap. And in this cap, I'm going to put this valve. And the reason I use the 45, I, I've seen these built on YouTube. Uh, I've seen a lot of people, they just take and they go straight into it right here. You know, and then the cap, of course, goes here. And then you put the valve in there. Well, the problem with that is you're only going to get half of your water out because it will only get down to the lowest point to right here. So what I want to do, I want to be able to get every bit of it out. So, the 45 will go right there. As you can see, when I put this here, the level of this valve is below the level of the water. So it should run right out. And that way be able to get all my water out. I've got this glue, I suppose. That's the right thing. <laughs> like I said, I am not a plumber. I know very little about plumbing. Uh, but I'm going to try to see if I can put this together and I'll get back with you. I've got some water out of the creek and put in it. Got all that put together. Got the spigot screwed in. And on this end, I got 90. And I've got tire valve put in there. I wrapped tape around this. It was leaking around this. I, I would say probably thread tape would be better, but I didn't have any. I put electrical tape around it. So I'm going to put this on. And I need a pipe wrench or something to tighten this with. Something I can take with me and have it to where I can tighten it. This seems to leak. I don't know if uh, thread tape would really help. As you can see it's leaking pretty good there. Get her tighten a little more. Okay, well, it was not leaking that bad before. <laughs> I've got right around 15 PSI in there. Okay, I've got to deal with the leaks, but when you turn this on, you get pretty good pressure out of it. I don't know how long it would run. I'm going to have to do a little experiment, but to get any run time at all, I'm going to have to seal this up. Problem is, I have to seal it, but I have to also be able to remove it. Um, I don't know. I'm probably doing something wrong. Like I said, I'm not a plumber. But I'll keep working on it. All right. Painting the rack. Uh, got it pretty much.
And then I'm going to put my pipe on. This is the shower I got hooked up. Put in water up here. I've got water in it already. And I got this little compressor. Got it up to 10 PSI. Got a little small leak still. I need to get a rubber grommet or something in there. I'll figure that out. That's easy. I need to get some straps. But for a proof of concept, right here, turn it on. Try not to get wet. That'd be enough pressure to take a shower with. I'll let it go ahead and clean itself out. I didn't fill it up. I didn't think I put that much in it. Okay, there it is. <laughs> and I'll just leave that valve on so that any water in there will come out because it might get to freezing temperatures tonight. Right. There we go. Huh, that's got that. And when I'm done, I just take this off. And somewhere right here, I'll put the cap back on it to keep garbage out of it. Okay, but I got the rack painted. And I got the middle bars put in and stuff. Ain't too bad. Back from it a little bit here. I gotta build a ladder to go off the side. As you can see, it, I think it turned out alright. Yeah, that bike looks good on it. But I think that's about all I'm going to do for today. And thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.